Hi guys, it's Chris back in the cider shed with another cider to try from my Somerset trip, uh, which was brilliant. And we've got lots of things to try. We're going to do one cider today, no cheese, and it's a mystery cider. It's a mystery cider. So, here it is, no label. It's exciting when I give things no label. So what's in the bottle? What's in the bottle, Chris? I'll tell you. It is a keep cider. And it's a keep cider from... Secret Orchard. So I was there yesterday talking to Joe for about half an hour, an hour, and we talked about lots of different things. And I was meant to get some cider vinegar off him, and he didn't have enough bottles, so he's gonna have to send it to me later. So to say sorry, he gave me this. And this is a Keeved cider from Secret Orchard. See, Secret Orchard up on Exmoor do some really cool stuff wild yeast, all in steel or plastic, very pure apple flavours, their Exmoor Mellow is insanely good. We're going to try the new vintage of that, which I also got, which has got some Harry Masters jersey in from one of the producers that you can get it from, and he particularly likes the stuff he gets off this guy, and it lends the stuff a real interesting spiciness, he thinks. So we're going to try it and find out. But, in the meantime, we're going to try this. So this is Keep Cider, uh, so find a protein so the yeast can't uh, finish the fermentation, so, residual sugar, natural sugar, and lower alcohol. But it's a single varietal, and the varietal is Yarlington Mill. And Yarlington Mill is probably my favourite varietal. I mean, everything brings something to the table, but I think I've had more Yarlington Mills that I've really, I've really enjoyed than pretty much any other varietal. So I'm really looking forward to this. He also told me that these bottles were very explosive. So I'm going to try and open it and not get covered in Keeved Yarlington Mill from Secret Orchard. Shall we see if I can do that? Let's see if I can do that. Go on, Chris. All right, I will. Weapon of choice. All right, here we go. I'm gonna just try and open it a little bit, a little bit of gas out. Let's see what happens. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's foaming over. I've got a bit of gas out though. I expect I pulled a really stupid expression while I was doing that which I'll get to enjoy later when I watch the film back. So, not too messy at all. We've had much messier explosions in the shed than that. Um, smells great though. If I'm gonna have sticky residue all over the place, I'd like it to smell like that, please. Okay, Chris, cheers. All right, apples for days, apples for days. So yeah, wild yeast, no oak, very pure expression of the fruit they get. Um, so let's have a look at the colors. Hazy pale amber, I'm going to say. So I think this is unfiltered. Yeah, I'm going to say that's unfiltered. I cannot see anything through it except except some rays of light. So I'm going to say that's unfiltered, uh, which is unusual actually because because it's a fining process, the keeping process. So like you get chapeau brun, like the protein rise to the top, which which finds what's below. So normally you get a much brighter um, side than this. So I'm going to ask you about that. It's very interesting. But he says it's keeped, and I believe him because he's a very nice man. Okay, yeah, so on the nose, this is my kind of nose. Dessert, like, massively dessert, like apple, brown sugar, baked sugar, almost like a toffee caramel, ta ta ta. Really, 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 my mouth is watering. It smells like a fantastic apple dessert, this. An amazing apple pie, something like that. Really, really, really nice nose. And see that mousse is still there, fine bubbles. Bottle conditioned, fine bubbles. So let's try it. I said, it, this is limited amount. If I like this, I'm gonna say, how much can I have? I'll buy as many as you will sell me. Even if it makes a mess, I'll buy as many as you can sell me. So let's see how it goes. Cheers, Joe. Lovely moussey texture, lovely moussey texture in the mouth. Tannin, soft tannin on the front, so astringency, squeaky teeth, um, nice amount. Um, unusual acidity, like mineral, almost like, I want to say like mineral water, acidic, like, like a mineral water character in the mid palate, which is really unusual. I don't remember having that before. So my mouth's watering from the middle rather from the sides. That's what it feels like. Because when you mouth water, you kind of get, if you think about sucking on a lemon, this is where it gets you, even here. This has almost got like a, this, there's a mineral water called Vichy, something like that, I can't remember what it's called, the name exactly. But when you drink it, it is like drinking something out of a volcano, which you literally are. 
And there's an element of that denim over my palette, which I think is really interesting. Residual sugar from the apple. Lovely mousse. It's quite a delicate one. There's that thing down the middle of my palette again. It's bonkers. This is really interesting. I really like it. <laughs> Smells amazing. It delivers on the palette. It does different things to what I expected. Because you get the sugars and stuff. But I've got this mineral quality down the middle of my tongue. I don't think I've experienced before on a cider. God, that smell. I could smell this for days. I could smell it for days. I could wear this like a perfume. If somebody else wore like a perfume, I'd follow them around like a, like a dog, I think. I just, it just smells amazing. That wouldn't be a great tagline for the perfume, I don't think. Really interesting. Not too sweet. We had the Le Perjul Cidre from Normandy a few videos ago. That was a lot sweeter than this. It's got much less sweetness. Much more of a mineral, almost like the skin character, I want to say. I'm getting down the middle of the palette. So it's really unusual. I really like this. That is really interesting. I will be buying this. Guaranteed. Whether it coats me in sticky cider or not, I will be I will be buying this, whatever. Mm -hmm. Nice one, Joe. Thanks. Just got a WhatsApp message there, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that vibration and that bird tweeting. You're welcome. Cool. Let's pour a bit more out. So I'm very happy with this. We're going to get some more of it. It'll be interesting to see what the label looks like. They do amazing art deco, art deco sort of labels on there, on the ciders. Cool. Cool. What a great trip to Somerset I had. All right, guys. Brilliant. I'll be back tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. I'm going to try something different every single day because we've got loads of stuff to try and it's all quite different and quite unusual i've uh, got some quite out there stuff uh so brilliant okay thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed that i hope you uh, join me again in the future and until then cheers <laughs>